The first way to peel a potato is pretty classic, using a potato peeler, where you drag the peeler across the potato's face, and feel free to add shaving cream if you think that will work better, then just rinse that off and it's ready to eat. Mm. If you don't have a peeler, you can use a spoon and just scrape it. You can also use a knife, although it's a bit more dangerous, and you might not end up with quite as much potato depending on your technique. Now we'll heat up some water until it starts producing bubbles. We'll score our potato around the middle, then add it to the water and we'll cook that until it's fork tender. We'll let that cool off and whoops. Then you can easily pull that peel off, then form it back into the shape of a potato. Now, of course, you can smash the potato against the wall and you can also throw it on a pile of knives, but you can also simply bang your potato around the edges for a couple minutes to really loosen up the exterior membrane. And once it starts to get a little warm, grab it tightly and twist. If your banging was even enough, you should end up with a pretty thin potato skin, which you can then then fill with potatoes. You can also get your potatoes spinning with your drill, then hold your peeler on the side. Although sometimes it's easier to tape your peeler to the drill and just take advantage of that really nice extra strong grip. The next method is to accept the potato as it is and not peel it because potato skins are good to eat. But one of the easier methods is to sneak into a potato nudist colony and steal a potato while it's relaxing. The next method is to say something passive aggressive like, you couldn't peel yourself if you tried. And if you've got a lot of time on your hands, you can build a Newton's cradle and this isn't so much a method of peeling potatoes as it is a method for exploring potato physics, which is an area we still have so much to learn.